Hello everyone. Welcome to the tutorial on editing molecules in Gchempaint. In this tutorial, we will learn to add unbound electrons on an atom, draw carbonic acid and sulfuric acid structures, add and modify a local charge on a group of atoms. We will also learn to add and modify a local charge on an atom, add cyclic molecules, convert monocyclic molecules to bicyclic molecules. Here I am using Ubuntu Linux OS version 12.04, Gchempaint version 0 0.12.10. To follow this tutorial, you should be familiar with Gchempaint Chemical Structure Editor. If not, for relevant tutorials, please visit our website. I have opened a new Gchempaint application. Let us first draw ammonia structure. Click on current element drop down arrow button. Select N from the table. Observe N in the toolbox. Click on add or modify an atom tool. Then click on display area. NH3 is seen on the display area. Press capital H, a submenu with a list of elements starting with H appears. Select H from the list. Click on add a bond or change the multiplicity of the existing one tool. To draw three bonds to nitrogen atom, click and drag the bonds thrice on nitrogen atom. Orient the bonds to form a pyramid-like structure. Let us add a pair of unbound electrons on nitrogen atom. Click on add an electron pair to an atom tool. Then click on nitrogen atom of ammonia. Observe the changes. Note that nitrogen of ammonia now has a pair of electrons. This pair does not take part in bonding. This pair of electrons is lone pair. As an assignment, Draw phosphorus trichloride structure, add a pair of unbound electrons on the phosphorus atom. Now let us draw carbonic acid and sulfuric acid structures. Here is a slide for carbonic acid and sulfuric acid structures. First, let us move ammonia structure aside. To do so, click on select one or more objects tool. Then click on ammonia structure and drag it to one side. Now let us draw carbonic acid structure. Click on current element drop down arrow button. Select C from the table. Click on add a bond or change the multiplicity of the existing one tool. Click on the display area. Orient three bonds in such a way that they form an inverted Y. Draw the fourth bond as a double bond to any one of the bonds. Now click on current element drop down arrow button. Select O. Click on add or modify an atom tool. Place the cursor near the bonds. Click on the three bond positions. Carbonic acid structure is drawn. Now let us draw sulfuric acid structure. Click on current element drop down arrow button. Select S. Click on add or modify an atom tool. Then click on display area. Observe H2S. Now anywhere on the display area, press capital O. A submenu with two options O and OS opens. Select O. Click on add or modify an atom tool. Then click on add a bond or change the multiplicity of the existing one tool. In the property menu, increase the bond length value to 200 or above. Click on H2S to draw three bonds of OH to S. Observe a positive charge near S. This appears because sulfur has to satisfy valency of 6. For the fourth bond, first click on S. Now drag the bond to one side without releasing the mouse. Now let us convert the opposite bonds into double bonds. Click on add a bond or change the multiplicity of the existing one tool. Then click on the 
opposite existing bonds of the structure. Note that the positive charge is no longer visible. Sulfuric acid structure is complete. Next, let us add a local charge on the carbonic acid and sulfuric acid structures. To show the local charge, click on decrement the charge of an atom tool. Click on the two OH groups of the carbonic acid structure. Observe that carbonate ion CO3 2 minus is formed. To show the local charge on sulfuric acid structure, click on decrement the charge of an atom tool. Click on the two opposite OH groups of sulfuric acid. Observe that sulfate ion SO4 2 minus is formed. As an assignment, draw nitric acid structure, show local charge on the nitrate ion. Your completed assignment should look like this. Let me quickly demonstrate how to add a local charge on an atom. Anywhere on the display area, press capital N. A submenu opens in which we will select NA. Click on Add or Modify an Atom tool. Then click on display area. Sodium atom appears on the display area. Click on increment the charge of an atom tool. Then click on Na. Observe a positive charge on the sodium atom. In a similar way, we can add a negative charge to an atom. This can be done by choosing decrement the charge of an atom tool. Now let us learn to draw cyclic molecules. For this, we will open a new Gchem Paint window. Click on Create a new file icon on the toolbar. Ensure that C, that is carbon, is selected as element. Also ensure that bond length is 200 or above. The fourth toolbar in the toolbox is the Cycle tool. There are various tools here that we can use. For example, Add a 3-membered cycle, add a 4-membered cycle and some more cycle tools and then add a cycle tool. We will use add a 4-membered cycle tool. So click on it. Then click on the display area. Let us add atoms to the cycle at the corners. Right click on any one of the corners. A submenu opens. Select Atom and then click on Display Symbol. Likewise, let us add atoms on all the corners. The obtained structure is cyclobutane. Now let us convert a monocyclic compound to a bicyclic compound. Click on Add a 6-membered cycle tool. Then click on Display Area. Place the cursor on the cycle's bond and click again. Observe the bicyclic compound. To save the file, click on Save the current file icon on the toolbar. Save as dialog box opens. Enter the file name as editing molecules. Click on Save button. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we have learned to add unbound electrons on an atom, draw carbonic acid and sulfuric acid structures, Add and modify a local charge on a group of atoms. We have also learned to add and modify a local charge on an atom. Add cyclic molecules. Convert monocyclic molecules to bicyclic molecules. As an assignment, add a 7-membered cycle to the display area. Change it to a tricyclic compound. Watch the video available at this URL. It summarizes the Spoken Tutorial project. If you do not have good bandwidth, you can download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial project team conducts workshops using Spoken Tutorials, gives certificates to those who pass an online test. For more details, please write to contact at the rate spoken-tutorial.org. Spoken Tutorial project is a part of the Talk to a Teacher project. It is supported by the National Mission on Education through ICT-MHRD, Government of India. 
More information on this mission is available at this link. This is Madhuri Ganpati from IIT Bombay signing off. Thank you for joining.